Hey everyone, Barry here from TGS with another Forza Motorsport live stream here for the Pony Car Showdown number 15 for this game. As planned, truck it along with some tunes in the background uh, as we hear. Yeah. But uh, yeah, cruising along through the career. And uh, yeah, we made it to Pony Car Showdown, which is the third event of Power Tour. So I'll zoom to the intro, get in the gameplay, go from there. That'll sum it up. We got a uh, say six races for pony car showdown starting at eagle rock oval so i mean that sounds cool finally doing the oval it seems so uh let me pull up our schedule directly from discord bam there it is so we're on tuesday played this yesterday i did the fox body challenge here we got done pretty early so i ended up doing a few rivals uh challenges today we're playing again i'm late just like yesterday 30 minutes late mixture of again sleeping in work i had to get my car inspected today there's a bunch going on it's been two busy days not bad days but busy so uh yeah there's decent busy days and there's bad busy days as we all know thankfully it's a decent busy day let me knock on wood goal for this uh, session will be to just complete all six races and depending on time if we're at like an hour 45 minutes i might just call it a day maybe i'll go all the way till 6 30 probably wouldn't be a problem but uh, let's uh, let's wing it as we go. I'm gonna skip all the practices. We're just gonna hop in and do it the original Forza Motorsport way. And tomorrow we do got Call of Duty Warzone Season Two, a complete shift of what we're playing to PvP. But uh, yeah, it should be a good time. Again, knocking on wood, fortunes to keep is coming back. And plenty more streams for the rest of the week. You can check it out on our Discord, our website, beginning end of every stream. Plan for the game. I kind of hinted at it already. I'm just trying to, uh, I have two goals. I would like to hit at least 500 gamer score and I'd also like to complete all career mode. That means tackling, let's see, four or five total tours. And each of these includes four, I guess they're championships. Not sure what else the term for them is. And uh, one showcase, you know, that's, uh, so these are required to complete the tour. Then this is a showcase you unlock for completing it, it seems, from the achievements set up. But uh, we're going to be doing it all, but I decided to you know, save all the showcases for the end. I think there's one, sorry for going back so many times, but there's one race for the showcase. So I don't know if it's one long race, like 30 laps. I don't know if it's a normal race, just in a unique car. I'll have to learn that later on and we'll decide how to tackle those. But if I can do them on one stream, we will. If we need to do them over the course of multiple streams, we will. Worry about that when the time comes. So in that progress, we are on... Power Tour, so we got Pony Car Showdown, CA Challenge, and then I'll move on to Legacy Tour and eventually Open Class Tour. Open Class, I'm thinking about building a car and upgrading it and leveling it and building it along through. So, you know, start with a, a C Class, build it into a B, and do. So, C Class, yeah, start with a C, build it to a B, then an A, then an S. That kind of deal. But we'll figure it out when the time comes. Just to take a look at the achievements themselves, we're about to unlock Pro Builder once, uh, I guess we complete the C8 one next Monday. Currently up in the air whether I'm going to play this game Monday and Tuesdays indefinitely, or I'm going to move it to one day a week and bring in like GTA 5 Story or something on the other day. Part of me wants to just grind it out, the other part of me would love to get GTA 5 started. So, uh, I'll think about it, I'm not going to promise. Just making a quick note. Forza Motorsport, or Forza Motorsport plus GTA 5 for Mondays and Tuesdays, but, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll 100% be getting Pro Builder next week, and we're gonna unlock Legendary Builder. I can definitely complete 20 rivals. There's a bunch of achievements that we can knock out, like sharing a photo, share a replay. But, uh, if I decide, I can always up the achievement to, like, 750 plus, but for right now, let's just keep it to 500. Like, sub, all links, description. And, uh, you know, performance-wise, I have a 1.3 KD in Forza Motorsport. That's against other drivers, drivatars. Just kidding, obviously. And uh, random chat. It's Tuesday. Work, stream, and do other things. Been uh, juggling a bunch of stuff. Gotta get ready for tax season. Put an offering on the house, waiting to see what their answer is. All this stuff. Gotta do some online shopping. You get the idea. The real fun will begin uh, Friday after work when we go into the weekend. And I just got confirmation that uh, so three weeks from today, 
we will be doing throwback week or something along those lines. A unique stream week. I'm thinking throwback week have to be at least like five plus year old games. That's going to be the rule of thumb, thumb for throwback week. But uh, throwback week 2024 will be from Monday the 26th till 3-3. And uh, I might not stream on 3-3, but I'm going to take off Friday 3-1. We have President's Day in the U.S. And just under two weeks, 13 days away on Monday the 19th. But I decided to float that work that day to the first. Especially, you know, other people are going to be off. Some of our customers may be open, may not be open, but probably be a really quiet day. So you get the idea. And uh, yeah, there's not much else to it. Let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. I'll let the cutscene play. We'll pick out a car and we'll be on our way. We're going to drive a stock in the first race. Just give me one second here. Just taking a peek at my phone. It was acting weird. All right. Sometimes your iPhone like turns off, then you try to turn it back on and it like glitches or something happens on it. In 1964, Ford's stylish Mustang was such a radical design departure for American-made sedans that it spawned a new motorsports performance class named after it, the Pony Car. Competing American manufacturers immediately jumped in to deliver even more aggressive, sleek designs. Some with enormous V8 engines and advanced four-on-the-floor manual transmissions, producing unheard of straight-line acceleration in a quarter mile. So drivers building these classics now must possess true modifying ingenuity to win on these twisting road courses. Quite a few options. So the AMC Javelin, Chevrolet Camaro, Camaro Supersport, Dodge Challenger RT, Ford Mustang Boss, Mercury Cougar, Plymouth Coda, and Pontiac. Best way to do this, in my view, is take a look at their stats. Let's go off uh, mostly speed and handling. 1.0, 1.3. Oof, that speed on that. It's nice. The Mustang's got my eyes on it right now, but so does the Coda. Coda. I'm between the Mustang Boss and the Plymouth. They might go for the Plymouth just to change it up, because I already had a Mustang and or a series. It's badass, don't get me wrong. It's a sweet car, but I feel like checking this thing out. It'll make for a unique experience. It has better overall stats. It has better speed, worse handling, but worse braking, but same acceleration. So basically, it's just going to need a little bit of love in the uh, handling department. It's not going to matter what I pick, I'm probably just going to go pick something else out. Shout out to J-Smoke, what is up? Saw you trying to hit me up. Yeah, I was uh, in the stream. <laughs> but welcome. How's it going? Appreciate the like. Let's see. I wish it would just let me keep the car I had selected out instead of having to go through my whole list and pick it. Let's take a look at some designs, see what people put together for this car, and then I'll decide what I want to do. I don't really want a true on racing one. This one I might uh, keep the way it is. I'd just customize it myself manually. I'm going to leave the paint. At least the uh, main paint. Just leave the hood alone. Leave the mirrors alone. Kind of want to carbon it out. We'll 
looks stupid with a carbon head, probably. There we go. Doesn't have a wing. What the hell are you smoking for, Zo? <laughs> what is that then? I couldn't imagine what that would be. Oh, that's badass. Let's even do the carbon brakes. Gotta get some tin on there. All right, our car is ready for the races. I'll be playing on the G923 wheel. Playing on, I forget if it's a 50 or 55 inch 4K screen that I have in my man cave. Playing in 4K from the Series X. Playing on the G923. And uh, got my controller for the audio because there's no headset plug-in on my steering wheel. So do note if the controller decides it wants to turn off, which happens at least once a stream of Forza Motorsport. You'll be able to hear me, but I gotta return the controller on to get the game audio back, so. It's a dumb mishap. If I just tap it, like, the beginning and end of every race, we should be okay. But I tend to forget. Especially where, when we're into racing and trying to compete with a bunch of Drivatars. Who just snorted some powder and they're out in the track. At least that's how it is sometimes, not always. Quick a little applause. My dog doesn't know what's going on, but, uh... We finally got the oval circuit in the actual career. I'm going to run the stock because I want to get an idea. Eight laps. I'm going to skip the practice laps. I don't need the practice in oval, but maybe in this car it might slide out on me with the Walmart tires it has on the stock. The Eagle Rock oval is fast and wide. Banking adds extra traction to the turns, so you can carry a... Oh, <laughs> told you these driver tires are on some. Oh God. All right, well, we're in for a trip and a half. Oh man, it's gonna be one of these journeys. I can feel it floating, like, you start to turn and you can feel the tires getting ready to go. And this, look, this is the wheel, this, I'm not even holding the wheel, that's how it's moving, just going down the road straight. We had this experience already with some other car that I chose. I think I chose it for a multiplayer race and it was like a disastrous build. And long story short, I was trying to do straightaways and the thing's turning like this right now. That's doing it by itself, if I let go of the wheel. That's how much force feedback I'm getting. Traction stability off, everything on simulation. All right. I had to do a lap or two just to see what I'm going to get myself into here. I don't think I can hit that guy. Ah. Thankfully people can't do that in online. Alright, let's get practice. We just killed that guy. Or he probably would have killed us. Or both. But we would have taken the initial impact. That would not be a... Uh, not be the damage that we would have saw. <laughs> I have the difficulty on tier 4 out of 8, which is the middle difficulty, which I think is like perfect. Since I'm learning the car, I'm going to start in third position. I don't want to take a risk. I want to guarantee I win every race since it's career mode, but at the same time, I don't want it to be too easy. We're going to focus on building the handling portion of this vehicle and the braking, and we can probably turn it into a meat machine. A little bit of uh, love, some race springs. Sway bars, you get that in. Tighten up its suspension. Maybe uh, get a wider stance or some wider tires on it. Or both. This guy in front of us is going to give us a run for our money. And 
turns. Might not be able to catch him. This car does not want to turn. Break on the inside. Wall ride. Ah, uh, Forza, really? Will they put Velcro on the wall? Come on, man. We saw, I mean, what happened in NASCAR? I can't do that here? This shit, it's not a simulator. Maybe people are banned from doing that from now on, but that's a different story. Can't wall ride in Forza. That's a bullshit. Well, we're gonna lose this, and I'm gonna have to redo it anyway at this point, just because this friggin' AI, whatever they're driving, it's doing gloriously stock compared to my car. Doesn't even want to go around. I'm just gonna restart it. Let me try something. How do you restart? Uh, there we go. Rarely restart races, but since I want to win, I'm not trying to do eight laps to lose. I gotta try and catch that person at the beginning of the race. We have to catch them at the beginning, or we're not gonna be able to beat them. I don't know, Jay spoke. It's gotta be you, man. What's that smell coming from the crowd? It's Jay, <laughs> it's Jay Spoke. Literally. So what I'm doing is... I'm trying to see if I can catch him at the beginning, but... Total time penalty is about a second. We gotta do just something that we, that's the only way we're gonna beat him in this difficulty is getting that pass in the beginning of the race. I don't wanna have to change the difficulty, but I, I will. I don't trust this game's difficulty system. Sometimes on four it feels like you know you have a driver tar who's maxed out. And then you have a bunch of noobs. And it changes each race to race as you touch the mods on your car. They go from being terrible to amazing. It's kind of all over the place. But I'm not letting this guy win. If I have to kill him, I'm killing him. Take the second climb penalty if we can catch him. I'm not worried about the damage to the car. I just need to catch him. Oh, he spun me out. <laughs> He's mad. He's mad that I, uh... I was trying to jip him of his victory. But hey, man, you want to be a cheap, powdered up drive guitar? I'm going to do what I need to do to win. Get out of here. If this was multiplayer, you know, I'd let it go. i take him out every place I get with this car because it sucks. Sorry, Plymouth, but this car's wobbling on a straight road. Should have went with the Mustang. Look at it, what's it doing? We're on a fucking boat ride? Literally, we are. This thing would have been done better in the ocean. Been for the weight. 
bobbing around and shit. I let go of the wheel. This is it by itself. It's just moving. Not all cars do that. It's going to be great once I mod it, but stock, I put part of that blame on the game. I have to drive the real car to really know what it feels like. This game, you know, shame some cars like Ferrari. Your stock Ferrari has Walmart tires that were $99.99 on sale. Even though it should have, you know, easily $1,000 tires on it, if not more. I have super sports on my real car. Cost an arm and a leg, but the best tires I ever had. You go fast around the corner, you ain't losing traction. Especially because I have an uh, all-wheel drive Quattro car, so kind of got a, an advantage there. And the slower you know, sway bars, etc., etc. So it's a mean machine when you're taking turns, especially those highway exits where it's like a circle. I love to just push it to the limit. You feel like you're about to get thrown out the door, but no tire slip or nothing. Don't penalize me for that. That's right, you listen to me. I got a stupid ass penalty because I had to break the rules to take the lead with that drive tar. Look, that drive tar was like amazing when he was in front of me. Now he's like a new... This game makes no sense. He should be up my bumper right now trying to pass. I couldn't catch him for jack shit. Now he can't catch me. That's what logic spelled with a K. If anything, he should be challenging me this entire time probably be blocking him in just to make sure he doesn't pass. There's all the noobs in last place. One of the cars I got. Just hit the wall, come on. The car doesn't want to make the turn, just gotta scrape it here and there. Can't wait to modify the suspension. Maybe some better tires will ease up on this uh, steering wheel wobble. The wheel, look at it. <laughs> it's the second car I've ever experienced this with. And I think they're both old. Like this. Crazy how old this car is now. It was like 50 years old or something. Time flies. For my time, but still. I blame that guy, will let me in. Thank you, they listen to me. No, I didn't, oh my god, I was trying to do a... This. Gonna pull the e-brake. Oh god, don't hit the wall. Good work out there. Thank you, thank you. Don't care who's third. They lost. Did not seem fast and furious. Winning's winning. <laughs> Man, you think you are J Smoke? Send me request. Next, we're going to. Uh, we really going to another speedway? All right, he's eight laps. Homestead, Miami, I think I said. We even touched the tires or, you know, no points. I don't think there's anything else we could do.
That should help uh, with a car a lot. My real car, when I did sway bars, I really felt a difference. I have H&R sway bars on my real car. With H&R, uh, I think it was OE springs or like a one inch drop. But I'm replacing that with full on coilover sometime in the next year. So when I feel like spending that kind of money, cost an arm and a leg. The colorful palm line but it'll be worth it for being my real life Forza car. The site of numerous motorsport series. You won't need to use your brakes much on these banked rectangular. Man, uh, man, do you want to get married to a scammer, Jay Spook? In chat, that's all right. As long as they're a nice scammer. <laughs> if you hear that in the background, that's my wheel just driving itself from the force feedback of the car that I was no longer driving. That picked up, that was the sound of me drinking some H2O. Quick swig. And yes, it is H2O, it's, it's not the weekend yet. All right, let's hop in. I'm kinda, I had, so first race, that's on the same difficulty I played 95% of the races in this game, which is 4 out of 8, which is a perfect middle ground. It's not too difficult, it's not too easy. Sometimes it becomes too difficult, and sometimes it becomes too easy just naturally based on the car you pick, the mod you pick, and you can have the fastest car, change one thing, add like three points to your car, and then next thing all the AI become, you know, gods of the road, so. We barely touched our car. If it's the same as before, I should have a little bit more leverage. So I think I'm gonna start with six. I usually work my way back uh, based on how the car performs. If I'm really performing, I've even started in 24th on many races, but I don't know. Uh, I haven't learned this car yet. To a point I feel comfortable pushing back. It does not like to handle, but with sway bars and eventually springs, we should get this thing under control. I don't really plan, plan to put much into power. We'll do the uh, tires as well. If we're still struggling to keep up due to a handling, I shall uh, exploit the method I used last race and just charge it on the inside and make my pass violently. I don't like to, but being a video game, I'm not losing. Because, as mentioned, you know, featured multiplayer, I don't play like that. I, I'll take my last place. Be disappointed, but I'll take it. I had to do that once because I uh, started off with really bad tire wear when I was first learning the tire wear system. And long story short, I really learned real quick why you don't do that. It's not going to get any traction. So this car's handling so much better. There's still the wobble right there that's going on. That's not me, that's the game. Just the force feedback of driving this car. But uh, So we haven't solved that. I don't know what the hell we're going to need to do. All right, dude, get the fuck out of the way, bro. I should have went around you. Let's Get out of the way. Slow poke mother effort. Alright, so the sway bar has made a big difference. I still want to get more handling. We need to uh, lower it. It still feels... The suspension still feels... Like it wants to lean all over the place. That might actually solve our... Uh, our boat vibes. I feel like I'm on a wave runner right now on the ocean. I'm trying to go down the road. the ocean. Chill out. It's like I'm out on Lake Michigan or something. If I ever just have excess money to spend on stuff like this, I'm going to buy one of these and turn it into a fin boat. <laughs> just pull up to the dock. Just like seal the door shut, make it a convertible.
Make it like an amphibious vehicle. Or just crazy, just literally make it a boat. That's it. So it just confuses people. Leave the front end, you know, just seal it up so you don't get flooded while cruising around. Sounds like an awesome idea, actually. Just for no reason. Keep the V8 in it. Be a gas guzzling boat, but it'll be sweet. I feel like they're gonna take us off these speedways, but maybe it is six speedways, I don't know. I don't even know if they have six uh, variants of ovals in this game. Eventually I think we'll hit an actual track. As, as we end up at the uh, ring, doing the full race. Expect like three laps around it. 45 minutes later, we're done. Had to mute to tell my dog no, because he's over there chewing the carpet or whatever the hell he's doing. No, he's just chilling because he knows. <laughs> you know, he probably looks sad. Looks like, what are you doing? What are you doing? my personal real life build I would just do a mixture of purple and carbon in the entire vehicle. I feel like I look badass. Including the dashboard and stuff. Just replace all the wood with carbon. Probably just wrap it at that point. Most cars of carbon sounds like a random combo, but at least for this time period, I feel like it'd be badass. Especially because it's so heavy already, and you can lose some of that weight. There we go, springs and dampers. There we go, I told you to break the oval. So we are doing five laps at Road America East Route. How fitting. All right, let's go to performance. Really? I'm gonna sacrifice. For 100 though, what can we get for 100? How much is tire compound? 700, come on. Let's do that. A little bit more grip on the rear tires. Not that we have too much power to put down anyway. Not much of a burnout in this car. A little drizzle going on, so we might get some tire spin though. Hill for Sargento cheese. You won't be able to stand on your brakes. I don't know if I ever noticed that. Sargento track. cheese. So get a feel for your <laughs> uh, I don't really eat Sargento, but I've had it. I don't saw it at the store I go to. Oh god. The game just threw me into a crash. The hell was that? I can't even make this up. 
Legitimately, the game... I, I started breaking the second it gave me the car. It threw me into a crash. Just the natural game itself. What the heck? Here's your practice. <laughs> How to crash. Six nine. When I said that, I was thinking about the song "Get Low." Haven't heard that in forever, but that three six nine. Was this guy? You see the guy in my rear view mirror? Watch him. All right. That time I let off the gas and he didn't like try to murder him. What the hell's going on? This Sargento uh, <laughs> sponsored racers around here. I think our top end speed is better than everyone else. That's why we're catching him. But and they're stupid and slow down for that turn. This thing's top speed is top notch. It was like the best one out of all the uh, starter vehicles. That's why I chose it, so I can focus on the handling like I did. Next, we need to get some tires on it. It's the only way. Additional grip will make this a winner. It already is, but. Breaking early because uh, I have stock brakes, so. I'm trying to risk it. There's nothing important, but I work at an international company, and our uh, RIT is based out of Asia. So you gotta catch him in the morning, or you pretty much miss him for the day. It's gotta be like 1 a.m. over there or something. Ten and a half hours ahead of us. So what would that be? It's like in the middle of the night. The guy was responding, even though I asked him to do something yesterday. The hell, let me know. Like, come on. Freed up my day, so I didn't have to do much. But then, you yeah, know, your boss is waiting to get something done. Three remaining. Because I work in cybersecurity, so I'm a senior software engineer. But I also do a lot more. I do a mixture of everything: sales support, working with R&D, QC. Done some webinars. So if you've seen a cyber webinar, you know you never know. Could have potentially been me out there, but I'm not gonna give out my personal info that easily. T 
until you make it big, you lay low. Like the Eric Clapton song. Lay low. Honestly, I mean lay low, but sound is fitting. We're dominating this. I'm saying it's mostly down to my handling increase. Allowing me to push more power through the turns and not feel like I'm going to die every time we turn. With some tires, I really think this car will come together. Eventually, maybe we'll get like a race exhaust on it. controller I told you it happened audio will be back on in a second you can hear me but I think I sound a little bit different that's because uh still plugged in to get you know pick up the audio on the stream but with the controller off the uh controller module turns off where you know provides the sound and handles the voice and all that over 40 minutes before it happens. It's not a record yet. If we can get like an hour and a half in without that happening, it'll be a Forza Motorsport stream record. I blame Xbox, so I'm turning my controller off when I'm actively using it for audio. One more. Finish 2024, you should be able to tell that there's an audio input and it's active. Jack equal active. <laughs> Stay on. Else turn on. I'm sure they have some crazy coding and some of this stuff. Okay, just keep driving down the, <laughs> the side of the road. Well done. We finished P1. So we're three races in, about 45 minutes. I don't like this guy's message on teams, even though I'm done for the day, but I don't like it because then it'll, uh, if anyone sees, and it's like, when did I last sign off? It'll say 514. I did leave work today for uh, two hours to get my car inspected. So. I gotta at least, uh, at least show some effort to, to boot up the app. You know? I work flex remote. We don't really have set hours, but we need to be available during certain hours just in case. Customer issues or something.
Oh, we really are doing another speedway. I thought the two were it. But uh, we're starting the second half of races with eight laps on Daytona. Do we have 200 points available? What the hell? Throw him on the brakes. That's where we need him. Won't have to uh, break so far back. If they actually work well. The Daytona International Speedway was built in 1959 to host competition previously held on Daytona Beach. <laughs> I can't believe we caught that. Record that, record that. What the hell? That was awesome. That was not planned at all. That's my wheel driving us off right now. I think it has a lot of force feedback, and I leave it all maxed out. I like the uh, simulation vibe. It is a workout, though. Definitely feel it. Building some muscle here. So, you know, I got enough time to lift some weights today. Do some simulation race. Nah, instead of uh, increasing difficulty, I like to just leave it where it is. Because it's a nice middle number. And I'll just move back further to make the challenge a little more. I think on Horizon, we were running it on like. There was average, above average, and experienced or something, whatever it's up after that. We played on that. And then once in a blue moon, you had to do unbeatable for like the festival playlist series, and we would do that. But those would be. Sometimes they'd be absolute torture, and it would take like five attempts to beat it with a whole crew of people, but other times it was, uh, yeah, not too bad. I just don't want to deal with unbeatable Forza Motorsport drivers. It sounds horrible. So they're not realistic, they're just insane. Their cars will be faster, it'll be like raining, it'll be like their drive on a nice sunny day. It could be like a sheet of ice and they'll take the turn 90 degrees perfectly. So our top speed is our, uh, our best option for success here. And our handling.
turned it into a pretty mean machine. I would like it to go faster, but... I need to upgrade the engine for that. Try rather do tires next. Exciting. Uh, I love driving the ovals, but Three left. it is an oval. We've already done like 20 laps of ovals today. had no chance because this again is the fastest stock car that can be used in the pony car showcase. I was getting beat by that was a Mustang in the first race initially until I had to cut him in a corner but ever since we modified the suspension this way is it's been a whole new world for this car. We're gonna get laughing people here. since I lot people in career mode. Also blue moon it happened. That three Mustangs in a row. The boss is not doing well. Sorry sir, but it's a video game. So we keep driving. Real life yeah. That crap, you feel it. Car is that?
Like I said, it's been a long time. I usually leave the difficulty on four. I may have put it up once, but I put it down at least twice, depending on the championship and the cars and stuff, because the one time I was using like a Ferrari, for some reason the other cars were like in god mode. It'd be like raining and nobody would be slipping. And then you would look at the classes and notice that yours would be like A class, like 520 or whatever it would be, and somehow half the cars in the race would be like 590, and it's like, what the hell? Well, it doesn't always happen. It's a uh, championship to championship basis. We got two more races left in this championship. I don't know. Time flies. I don't remember. I'm guessing because we're now doing, uh, you know, one. We're skipping all the practice race that, or you know, laps. I should say. We're saving a lot of time because it used to take me about two hours to do a championship. But I'm guessing that's because I used to do the practice. Uh, it's been so long. There was a time where we did all the practice. There was a time where I only did the first practice just to learn the car for a few laps. And then nowadays I just skip it. But uh, the goal is to hold a two-hour stream, hour and a half minimum. If I decide to take time back, I took time back. I, I took like 15 minutes back yesterday. Maybe we'll do the same today. I don't know, but we'll uh, we'll wing it later. Electrovolt's was supposed to pick up curbside order between 5 and 6 and it's 5.30. She's leaving work at least an hour away. So much for that. So I don't think I have to worry about cutting it early. I should be fine. Let's do this. Uh, maybe I'll do some more rivals today or something after we're done. I'm going to save the final championship for Monday of next week. Monday or, and or... Well, Monday or Tuesday. Based on what I decide, I'm still in the air if I want to play this Mondays and Tuesdays or just one day a week. It's either grind it out over a month and a half or so and be done with it, or play it over two, three months, once a week, and you know, play something else alongside it. So I'll think about it. I got 450 available. Let's not push it in the C class if we can avoid it. Let me put these back to style. Let's do the 315s on the rear. It's a flat 400 D class. So, six laps at WeatherTech Raceway. Laguna Seca translates to dry lagoon in Spanish but can get slippery when cars go off track and drag sand onto the surface. So be cautious of decreased traction. practice. We're gonna try starting in the middle of the pack.
driving aggressively, smashing into each other. I figure I'd join them. Audio cut off, and then I got distracted and drove off the track. So, let's go back to here. Seems like every like 20 minutes, the controller decides to, to die. I mean to bump you, sir. I'm sorry. Calm down, driver. It's fine. shit out of him. So we get. Kind of what I did anyway, but have fun. We got three cars to pass in the next three laps. Just because I'm getting ultra focused here. This is the first. This has been the toughest race for me to. Uh, the first race I would have lost if I didn't cut that guy in the one corner. But that's because the car was stock and it just couldn't handle for jack crap. It had the top end, but it did not have the handling. So I had to do what I had to do to win. But now I feel like ever since I upgraded my car, the AI are a little bit better, which is not surprising. Because they also upgrade when you do. Not all the time, but there's like those zones where you're the best, and there's those zones where they actually make it competitive. It just depends on your build and where your numbers are for performance and things.
I'm gonna rewind before the penalty because that's fucking ridiculous. gonna rewind because we can get him fucking penalized. Touching the dirt. Game is just out to get me now. Come on. I've done way worse than other friggin' races in the series, and for some reason they're just coming at me for everything now. This fucking car, even though I upgraded it, feels like something went wrong. I don't know if it's with the tires. This car was horrendous to start with. Then I really improved it, but we might have, uh, I might have to go resize the tires. Might need to add a little bit of, uh, size to the front as well, not just the rear. But yeah, I can, you can, tire sizes can absolutely change how a car goes from handling beautifully to not. This would not be my first time. Especially on cars like this, you gotta find like the right size combo. Maybe keep the ratio going that initially it has. So I've only upgraded the rear tires at this point. We also need to just get better tires, period. I'm still running stock Walmart tire. Went off the road, go! I didn't even touch him. That was all on his own merit. That was the most difficult race of the series, and that was the fifth race. The first was difficult other than one car, which I had to take the inside and push him a little bit to get through, but I did what I had to do. Then the rest of the races, I kind of just had it in the bag. Then we got to this race, and 
the AI finally somehow got better. All I did was upgrade my rear tire size, so somehow that it influenced all the driver tires to just become drastically better drivers, but we're still able to, to mop it up. Zoom to the finish line here. Nice work out there. We finished P1. Send a quick message. I've done work for the day, but just want to tell this person I'm continuing what I, so I put in a support request. It's got to be like legit, like 4 a.m. where uh, RIT is in Asia. So, but he did something I asked him to do earlier. So, better late than never, I guess. I just want to tell him I'm testing tomorrow. My cyber job, I'm uh, currently testing some quote unquote use cases for customers and putting together some documentation and stuff. So, last one we have is Indianapolis Motor Speedway for eight laps. And we are going to be guaranteed done early. It's supposed to be a two hour stream, but we're going to be done epically early. on there. I'm going to spend 50 points. Here, we'll put a sport flywheel. The legendary Indianapolis Motor Speedway is the highest capacity sports venue in the world and part of the Triple Crown of Motorsport with Monaco and Monaco. practice.
Hello, hello. Sorry about that. Felt like I was gonna sneeze, so I needed a quick tissue break. <laughs> Just kidding, obviously, but uh. Since we're doing the Indianapolis Speedway, I'll give it a chance. Maybe a horrible decision. Hello, Jay Smoke. Welcome back. Pretty sure you've been here the whole time. You're just probably lurking. Maybe took a nap. Maybe had a Jay Smoke. Yeah, why is he stopping? I hit him. That's not even me driving. It's gonna overcast. Yo, he's spinning me out. Come on, bro. We got a guy on my inside there. That's what she said, but uh, legit, that guy was just on the inside of the turn. And he just pushed me. He pushed right into my rear fender and tried to get rid of me or something. Tried to assassinate me. Shop is for Jason. <laughs> this chat's turned rated M for mature. Rated M for mature. Jay Smoke's drunk references. Justin did his name, as well as his cop. We were overtaking a majority of the vehicles.
three laps from done. Been quiet just because uh, after an hour and almost a half of driving, running out of stuff to talk about. strategy is to tackle, you know, a championship per stream, but they've been taking shorter than the whole stream lately. That's probably because I removed all the practice laps I used to do. Now I just hop right into it. So, you know, five race stream that would take, you know, an hour and a half to an hour 45, now it takes, you know, an hour. It's a lot of time you waste on practice laps in this game. I just don't care to do it anymore. Just do the first race stock, learn the car, and then go from there get a grip on how it's going to do and what improvements you need to make to make it better. Uh, cars like this act a little bit differently. This just needed the tire tread. Now that we got the sport tires on this, it's a nine day experience. We're already lapping people. Final lap. This shows a D4, D400 build, but now it's a almost maxed out C-Class just from doing sport tires alone. Well, I figured he's a driver tire, I'd give him a bump. It's the final lap now. Do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. is it says 37 minute drive away so I got plenty of time too bad I'm retiring this car Not that I want to do it, I'm just curious what the deal is. One lap around Le Mans Circuit International de la Sarth. Like, well, that's legit the challenge for the showcase. I'm saving that for a separate stream. But I'm just trying to look and see, like, what is the requirements of these races? What? This you have three laps around Yas Marina Circuit. Because, uh,. My plan for this game, as mentioned earlier, is either I'm going to keep it twice a week or do once a week. I'm between either playing it either Monday or Tuesday, and, or, so, Monday or Tuesday, or Monday and Tuesday, so you get the idea, so. There's two ways this can go. I can keep this around, you know, if we estimate it. We're done today's Tony Car Showdown, like a half hour early, so I can take a minute to look, but. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five showcases, right? So five showcases, they all seem to be pretty straightforward I don't have this one unlocked yet but we saw from up here the top two that they were not that bad one of them was one lap around not even that big of a track it take you know five minutes or something the other one was a few laps around another track so they're they're legitimately maybe 10 to 15 minutes a piece at most so maybe what we'll do is I'll continue on uh, next Monday or Tuesday 
We'll do CA Challenge. If we decide to keep this twice a week, we'll also hop into Vintage Hatch next week. So everything about this way, if we do... Let's see, we got four... We got nine... We had nine uh, championships left, so... Nine championships and then one stream for showcasing. That'd be ten individual streams, if I think about it. So I can either knock this game out in five weeks, playing it twice a week, or we can play it once a week for ten weeks. And we can run something alongside it, so I'll have to think about it, but I'm going to write down, I think it's ten live stream to complete this. And uh, I can always do some achievement videos as well. Snuck out a rival race real quick. now but it took them 18 minutes to complete it so something's something's gonna go wrong somewhere that's what happened last time distracted me. See, they're going into a dead end. There was another track that I did yesterday for Rivals where someone did the same thing. They uh, took the wrong turn and went into a wall. Then they like rage quit or something. Then came back and finished the lap anyway. Flows over. Since I was able to finish the championship and the title Pony Car Showcase in an hour and a half, we're half hour early, so I'm just hopping into some rivals, but may or may not eventually ditch out a little early too. To accomplish our goal for today. Change up the car. Pretty sure the person took so long because they crashed or something, so we should be alright. Let's find out what this person did wrong in the race. And as to why we're uh, about to win another Rivals. We are... in nine more Rivals to have the, the B20 Rivals achievement. Yeah. 
yesterday. I was like 35 minutes late, but I held an hour 45 because we were done the championship yesterday in an hour, which is crazy, but it literally was that short. So I think I spent a half hour doing Rivals, unlocked the B10 Rivals achievement. Today I was half hour late again. So I'll probably take back some time as well. Just because we accomplished our goal already. And I've had two long days. While I slept in, I had really long days at work. This and that, I had to go get my car inspected today. Last night I had a meeting at 8 p.m. after working a full day. You get the idea. So after an hour and a half of racing, you're a little bit beat after already being tired from the day. I figured I'd knock out some progress on this. That'll kind of be my plan. Each week we'll, uh, I've, again, I haven't decided if I want to keep this weekly once a week or twice a week. It's going to be weekly, period. But whether I play this game twice a week like this week or once a week will depend on what I decide. And uh, the only other thought I have is to either get into GTA 5 story, start Little Nightmares 2, or something like that if I decide to only play this once a week. So I'll think about it. Maybe we keep it twice a week until uh, March, and then in March. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. March could be the uh, start of GTA 5. We'll get six more streams in of the 10 we need to finish this game. And then we move this game to once a week, the last in uh, March. And then I can finish it by end of month playing it once a week. And we can get into GTA 5 story. So that's been a stream request for a long time. So I'll think about it though. I'm not guaranteeing nothing. So I could also just uh, move this to once a week. It's been completed in about two and a half months anyway. It's a fun game. But if you ever play it, it can get old just because it's so repetitive, so I'll have to think about it. I forgot I built this Challenger. Some of the cars we built for races in this game. I'll probably play till an hour 45 on the clock, then I'll call it. Just because, again, it's been a tiring day. Long day. But uh, each week I would like to, or each time I hold this game, I would like to leave one championship and then make progress on achievements, whether that's rivals, whether we grind out those random achievements like drive this car on this track. be easy enough to do in reality. For some reason I thought we selected the oval, but we obviously did not. And I haven't driven this car in a while, I forgot that it likes to throw the back around more than I'm used to. Traction stability off, simulation everything, but we got the line up. muscle car I used for the pony car uh, showcase we just did the championship did not have this much power so it was much easier to handle I remember once I tamed this thing though it's awesome but you do gotta watch out because as you can see even under light throttle it can start to give out I don't think we have to worry about beating the person who uh, set this time and the rivals. I mean, where the hell are they? So they're still in the starting line. They really are. They're right there. What the heck? I swear, these people start the rivals. Domino shows up. Mommy calls for dinner. And then they, you know, go run off and they just leave the game. And then they decide to come back and finish the race in rivals anyway, which makes no sense. Unless they just quit and it counts that as a time, but I doubt it.
this turn and me and I think this car have a bad history. That felt so familiar. I told you, they're just like parked on the side of the road. I don't know why the game thinks this is a uh, proper rival's time. I'm trying to click finish race. Turbo. Needs a diverter valve though. It's the dust. Need six more of those. But I think I'm done for today. We're almost at an hour 45. As I mentioned, I'm a bit fried, so I think I want to take the early dismissal that was granted to me by finishing the championship early. I'll go ahead and uh, go through our outro. So, hope everyone had a good Tuesday so far, a good week so far. I'll be back tomorrow with uh, Call of Duty Warzone. I'll show the schedule right now. Oops, wrong one. But yeah, Call of Duty Warzone Season 4 tomorrow. More streams of the week like Star Citizen, Ready or Not, dot, dot, dot. It's all listed there. If you're into simulation games like this one, Star Citizen's like a space sim. And then vehicle-wise, SnowRunner Saturday night. Shout out to our supporters. We got main foodies all the way across the board. BBT on Patreon. The list is a little bit lightweight right now, but appreciate all the support. We had a, a lot of people on here a week ago, but... Every, uh, yeah, I clean it up every once in a while. Usually I promise about one month on here from our supporters, but I usually give more than a month, and uh, I just felt it was time to have a cleanup of names, so. Appreciate the support, though. This list uh, always changes. It could be week to week or month to month, but. Sure it'll grow again. That's going to conclude the session. Thanks for watching. Like, sub. 
Have a great uh, rest of your day, everyone. Peace out.